easy high Please fortify this strength of mine My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes So I used my full head life cast to make this cowl, but if you don't have one, you could use a mannequin head as long as it's roughly the size of your head. I built an armature out of plastic bags and foil so it would be lightweight. To even out the surface of the foil, I covered it in painter's tape. Now since painter's tape is slightly textured, when I removed the cowl when I was done, the tape layer did stick to the latex. I'm sure if I fought with it a bit, I could get the tape off, but it really didn't bother me as the tape is on the inside, and it kind of helped to strengthen the cowl a bit. If you don't want the tape on the inside of your cowl, I'd recommend using clay to even out the surface of your foil. Now for the latex. I stippled on a few layers of RD-407, also known as mask latex. You want to use mask latex because it's thicker than theatrical latex, so you'll need far fewer layers for it to hold its form. I'll have my video about the types of latex linked in a card. Also, I let each layer of latex dry before adding another layer because if you don't, the top layer will dry, forming a skin of sorts over the still liquid latex underneath, and when you try to remove the cowl, it will be a gooey mess. You can use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. I applied four layers of latex on the whole cowl, but only about two on the edges so they'd be thin and would blend nicely into my skin. Then I strengthened the cowl with a single layer of toilet paper sealed with latex. For the texture, I built it up with cotton and latex. Cotton and latex buildups have been used in the special effects makeup industry for ages. With a little practice, you can basically sculpt with cotton and latex and create almost anything. I unrolled cotton balls so they'd be in easy to work with strips. I applied one strip at a time to the still wet layer of liquid latex beneath it, then smoothed more latex over top of the strip with my fingers. If you don't want to use your fingers, you could just as easily use sculpting tools to smooth out the cotton. I worked little by little, adding more cotton in some areas to build up the forms, and I separated the cotton balls into smaller pieces to add smaller ridges in some areas. While the latex was still wet, I used my nail to refine the shapes, but again, you could also use a sculpting tool. I let the latex dry overnight before painting it. You have to paint latex with Pax paint, which is acrylic paint mixed with a bit of prosate adhesive. The addition of the adhesive allows the acrylic paint to bend and stretch with the latex without cracking. The general rule is to mix equal parts of prosate and acrylic paint, but I personally like to add a little bit less prosate so the Pax isn't too thin. I applied a base coat of pink, and when applying Pax, you want to use sponges because it will gunk up brushes due to the adhesive. Once the pink was dry, I added the yellow detailing on the side with a new sponge. And I also added the red along the back and in some of the crevices. Once all of that was dry, I added the black line work in the crevices. For this, I just used straight acrylic because you can do small detail work without having to mix prosade into your paint. And since there was no prosade in the paint, I just used a small brush.
And once I added in all the lines, I added some dot work. Once all the paint was dry, I powdered the edges and started to gently peel them up. I didn't film taking the cowl all the way off because I had to shift the live cast around a lot, but I just kept working different areas, peeling the latex up and wiggling my armature around until the cowl came off. Congratulations, you have made it to my end screen. Click that top link to check out this cowl in action, or click that bottom link to check out a video that YouTube's robots think you'll like. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video from me in the future, click that little circle with my face in it to subscribe.